What's up, YouTube? This is me, Abel. This is Tank Head Videos, and tonight I'm bringing you a, uh, just showing you my 125 setup. So I was just on a live chat, and we we're talking about lights and stuff. So anyway, if people missed it, I want to show it again anyway. So th this right here is my Ghetto T5s. So um, I'm sticking with these right now, and then hopefully I can upgrade and the future but anyway so these are my t5s i actually got them stacked on empty boxes so like i got an empty box right there and an empty box right there and then for lids my uh glass lids broke today um one of them was broken it was actually duct taped together and then it finally just gave out so thank god i already had it in my hands when it gave out so today what i did was on the 125 i made diy lids so i got basically DIY here DIY there DIY there lids and then one thing I noticed today is that in my lighting in the fish room I only got one pair of LEDs um, everything else in here is T8s and uh, one set of T5s which is pretty cool um, so yeah so new lids that's the light ghetto as hell and then uh, down here I got the uh, FX6 I know it's upside down, but it's because I have the uh, intake on the right side and I wanted the outtake on the left side because the intake's actually really big and it's, you know, I don't really want to look at it because it's so big. So I have it kind of in the shadows of the tank and then I have the output coming out in the light because I think the output's really cool. So like, see, there's the, uh, there's the output right there and then there's the uh, intake. So kind of like just chills in the shadow. So anyway, but yeah, I got the FX sit up, the FX six set up. So now I got the FX six on here. I have a FX three oh six on there, and then I have another uh, little forty gallon HOB on there. Um, the reason why I left these two small uh, filters here on the side, the reason why I left those in there, is because those are two cycled. Uh, One's a cycled canister and the other one's just a HOB and just trying to leave that beneficial bacteria in there. I threw, or, well, I didn't throw away, but I took out that other canister and I really didn't want to use any of the old stuff in it. So anyway, I'm hoping that this new uh, FX6 doesn't crash my system. And then if you'd be like looking at my tank and you're like, Abel, it's yellow. Well, I use the, uh, the driftwood. Um, I have... Uh, a lot of Malaysian driftwood in here and then a couple of pieces of some driftwood that I don't know what they're called but anyway um so yeah you see that yellow that's actually all from the tannins and so I actually like that look I like that yellow look I just think it gives it a cool cool look so I know in time the water changes and stuff it'll go away but yeah I mean even though I got uh like you know so that's the water quality so this glass is all scratched up but yeah so anyway um so i got the fx6 hooked up on here with the ghetto lighting diy lids excuse me excuse me i strike a whole thing of water so i want to burp <sighs> try not to <laughs> so here uh, i got this little thing on here uh it gives me what i'm supposed to be doing so the ones that are crossed out are the ones that are done. So I got a medicated thing that I was supposed to do. I did that. Got a hook up the FX6, did that. So now I got the, the flower horn, the guppies, the red devil, 37 gallon, and the teardown. So the teardown I'm gonna do tomorrow, maybe, or maybe Monday, cause tomorrow uh, I really wanna chill out. So my wife is with her mom. They're doing each other's hair. They're dyeing each other's hair and doing all that stuff. So. Since it's girls night out doing all that stuff, um, I'm actually gonna probably start working on my 37 gallon because it needs a water change really bad and I'm thinking of re-aquascaping, putting a whole new different stuff in there. So I really don't show the 37 too much. It's a bunch of little tropical fish. So I really don't show it too much. I think it's really cool. I, I should probably show it. So but anyway, yeah, so this is what I use right there to give me my schedule for the day and today this tank took all of my time so anyway so just want to show the 125 baby girl say hi hi guys so 
that's uh my baby girl so anyway uh yeah here's the 125 and uh my flower horn just a quick update uh he is uh still sick he is not eating at all and i gave him the uh the medicine yeah medicine the throat treatment in his mouth yesterday and uh, I think one of them worked. The rest of it came out through his gills. I didn't put it in deep enough. So tomorrow I'll try it again to give him some rest. But I medicated this tank again with Epsom salt, which I never done before. But I, I did that. So, but I'm I'm hoping uh, he comes back through it. So I've been working with this fish for four days. I have spent sixty five dollars in medicines for him. So I just it's getting kind of discouraging. But you know it's the hobby it is what it is so I gotta treat this fish right you know hopefully he'll make it you know I would hate to have to euthanize him but anyway so uh yeah that's the uh that's what's going on uh that bright light is horrible so if I put my phone down you can see something anyway alright guys my name is Abel this is Tank Cat Videos Laters.